Well, today we are going to continue with our transatlantic cooperation and coordination in order to continue facing the Russian aggression in Ukraine. Everybody knows about the atrocities that has been discovered in Bucha and other places around Kiev. In the coming days, it will be traveling to Kiev together with the President of the European Commission. We will be visiting President Zelensky, the Foreign Defense Minister, Foreign and Defense Minister. We will, for sure, know better what is going there. And the important thing is to continue putting pressure on Russia and continue supporting Ukraine. Zelensky has a lot of uh, support, but what uh, he really needs is more arms. Less applause and more arms. Good words, good, but the important thing is practical issues. More resources, more military capabilities to resist the Russian aggression, more isolation of Russian international community, more sanctions, that we are doing. Today, I hope the fifth package of sanctions will be finally approved by the ambassadors and finally by written procedures by the Foreign Affairs Council. I hope when I will go to Kyiv, I could announce that and other measures. And finally, allow me to remember that today in the United Nations, is going to take place a very important vote where the international community will decide, I hope, to suspend Russia from being a member of the Human Rights Council. It's going to be a difficult vote because it requires two-thirds of the votes, but I think that uh, it will be a great. What do you think about an oil embargo? About? What do you think about an oil embargo? Well, it's not uh, on the package of the fifth sanctions, which is being discussed today. It's only coal. But things will be discussed on Monday on the Foreign Affairs Council Ministers. And sooner or later, I hope sooner, it will happen. <laughs> Do you expect uh, the publication of the new uh, sanctions package already today, or will it be tomorrow? And you know, it's, uh, I cannot tell you if it's going to be happening today or tomorrow, but today or tomorrow really doesn't matter. They are looking a close, a close look at uh, the list of the people and the sectors affected. Maybe this afternoon or tomorrow the latest. Why to wait for sanctions? And I have a question. Why, for example, the ban uh, with any transactions with the Russian military structures was only in the uh, fourth package when EU was uh, so concerned all the uh, January and December about Russian forces being uh, near Ukrainian borders? Why would you wait with all those military <coughs> sanctions till the fourth package? We have been following a progressive approach now we're accelerating, you know, you do on the way. We didn't want to do everything on the same moment, the, the first time, taking into account the situation in the ground. But now the sanctions are almost, almost completed. Sanctions. Isn't it something it What military sanctions? What do you call military uh, sanctions? Well, uh, in force package there was a ban to any transaction with uh, Russian state military agencies. For me it was a sur big surprise that it was actually in the force package. Why not after 2014 Crimea annexation? There is also news about Bel Belgian company... Sorry, I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Mr. Course. Commissioner, uh, yes, you. can you offer the Thank Ukraine? You.